Hello, thank you for joining me. So today I wanted to talk about some kitchen scissors. So we have been, I think everybody has some, a few pair, maybe one or two or three pairs of uh, kitchen scissors in their kitchen, you know, to open packaging, you know, cut, uh, you know, cut something, you know, and, and it, it has many, many uses, right? I don't think I can not have a pair of scissors in the kitchen and I always have at least two. Uh, I think three might be even better because sometimes it gets dirty, hasn't been washed or it touched the meat and then it hasn't been washed and then I need it for something else, right? So the more the merrier. Now I have been having, I'm going to show you three pair of scissors today and I'm going to talk about how they fare over the years. I, I have been having them for quite a few years. Um, and so I think it's a great time to talk about it. And so um, I think one of the oldest one, it's this particular pair. Now it been worked great. Um, I actually wanted to retire this pair. Uh, actually, I ha it happened about a couple of years ago because I'm like, ah, it's, it's been a while. Let's get some new scissors. You know, maybe it's not as sharp anymore as before. And when you cut paper or packaging, it just maybe not as, um, uh, it's just not as sharp, right? So, you know, it's sometimes it's a little bit frustrating when you have to deal with a dull uh, pair of uh, scissors and even with knives and stuff like that. And I'm not, I wasn't really interested in learning how to sharpen them myself. So I'm like, easy way is to get some new pairs. And which I did. So I'm going to come back and talk about what this is. And um, then I got two extra pairs, like maybe two, three years ago. Um, it's one green, one red. I thought it might be great, you know, color coding if I wanted to. And uh, this particular pair, it's uh, KitchenAid. Uh, you see it probably everywhere and it's not very expensive and um, I use it for probably at least three maybe up to four years and the review on that one is uh, would I buy it again probably not I don't really I think it works fine at the beginning because it was sharp it's new you know it's doing its job um, if you want something more quality I don't think this is it um, it becomes uh, basically I just couldn't really cut much stuff anymore um, if I have something here I have a package here oh it does cut now but you know sometime um, it was it was just really hard it was just really hard for me to cut some of the uh, things because I think the um, blade has gotten apart a little bit more and um, I try to sharpen them myself. I'm um, not sure if I did a good job, but I have a, uh, a piece of stone, sharpening stone, and I try to do it. And the other part is the plastic part around here. It does get a little bit moldy, unfortunately. And uh, you can see it's just a little bit wear and tear. But again, you know, I, I don't think I paid like five, maybe five dollars for this. So can't complain much right uh, the reason I like this pair or I picked this pair to begin with was I felt like it's thinner here you know compared to this because this is a little bulky right on the side and I just thought that it's just a little bit more flexible for me when I cut things so I just don't feel the bulkiness on this one um, but you can see some of the dark spot here I think they're the water moisture you know and i couldn't get rid of it whatever i try and those plastic are the plastic you know it gets old and then it it kind of start peeling off and ruins it um some of those kind of plastic you can see it's coming off so um not only does the blade and um it's not sharp and I try to sharpen it myself and it still doesn't quite do the job that I want it to. And then it's frustrating. You keep cutting and it's just one cut, right? And it comes to this one. And this is uh, no brand. I'm not sure because I threw away the packaging a long time ago. Um, and again, we I bought this with the KitchenAid at the same time. It was around one 
Christmas time or something. And uh, this one was faring better, honestly. Um, I actually liked it a little bit more. It, it, when the KitchenAid kind of giving up on me, um, this one was still working. So I actually like this pair a little bit more. Um, I like the plastic a little bit more. It's not as soft as the KitchenAid one. Uh, so it hasn't really deformed. It has some marks on it because, um, but those are not the, it just maybe because of another knives or something, but it's more, I can feel that it's sturdier. It's not melting like this one because that's not because of the heat, but I think it's because of, well, of course it's in the kitchen all the time, but it's because I think the wear and tear from, uh, in my opinion. And this one is a lot more durable, except that um, I was cutting something, I think last week, and then it just, uh, maybe the glue, it just kind of gave in, you know, and it fell apart. So even though I kind of like this one, and uh, this one kind of fell apart uh, the earliest. So this is, again, but I don't know what brand this is. Um, the Except on the blade here, it's called, there's a, probably the, the model number BZ04K, but I don't think this is the brand. Um, as you can see, I don't think this is the brand at all. So I don't know what brand this is. And so coming back to the first one that I show you, um, like, like I said, I wanted to get some new scissors. So I retired this one. I thought, ah, it's just old enough. And you know, I'm, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> right. And, um, so I, my husband took it actually. He said, well, let me just give it to me you know, for my toolbox so I can use it for tools. And then we have to take it back out again because these two scissors are failing me. I was getting like so frustrated with this pair and this pair is getting not so sharp anymore. And so I'm like, I can't cut anything. And when you're in a rush and it doesn't do its job, like you just get really frustrated, right? And so he actually took it, took it out. I don't think he really used it for tools or anything like that. And I was like, oh man, you know, this pair of scissors lasts really a long time, maybe eight years. You know, I might use scissors for four and then I was like, oh, you know, it's time to get a new one. And so seven, eight, I think. And, uh, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I really like this pair compared to the other two that is failing on me, right? And I think one of the thing is because it, it, the, the support go all the way up. The support go all the way up. And I think it really makes a difference now that I have a comparison, right? This is kind of flimsy. This one is like sturdy. It's still like very, like when I close it, like now, it's still very tight. This one, it just kind of fling around because it got loose. Uh, the screw is probably not the most, um, secure one maybe I would say this one it's I, I felt like it's really well made um, it still cuts like the blades are very tight together that's why you can feel the tension when I close it you might not be able to feel it but I'm just saying and so it doesn't it locks it in right this one it kind of locks it in but once you open it you know it's it's free flow you know because it's kind of loose once you open it this one, it, it, you know, it just, you can feel the tightness, tightness, right? So I look at, I look at it closely just now. It was, the brand is called Niken, N-I-K-K-E-N. And uh, this one, I guess it's made in Japan. And so I looked up the website. So I don't, I actually don't remember where to, where we got it. It could be. I'm thinking probably more in the US rather than Japan, but it's made in Japan. And if I have to choose out of the three that I just show you, uh, I think I'm going to buy this one again um, if I need to. I probably do because we are missing scissors, you know, and um, the middle part, you can use it to open up the claws maybe, you know, if you eat crabs and stuff like that. And so I really like this one and it's just really well made and sturdy. And even after so many years, we have to take it back out again. So I will probably order um, 
a couple more. I have to look how to do it. And um, so when you shop for scissors, next time maybe look for additional support here because, you know, in the kitchen, you know, you might be just cutting something a little bit harder, you know. And when I cleaned uh, the shrimp and out of self, which I cannot remember what it is now, um, I do use scissors, you know, to take the head out and cut out the legs and, you know, stuff like that. So you do want something that's a little bit more sturdy and, you know, and then you cut up the packaging open all the time. So you might want to consider this and I will put uh, the name down there for your reference and you can um, shop for your next pair of scissors. I hope this has been helpful and I will talk to you soon. Bye.